Good morning, afternoon, or evening, gardeners. I am Peter from Planter, and today we're going to show you a little overview of the app, just the beginning steps, how to get your garden started. All right, let's go. All right, so when you first open up the app, here's my phone here. Um, the first thing you need to do is tap this button down here that says New Garden. When you tap that, it'll ask you for a garden name, so we're just going to call it maybe uh, Veggie Garden. Um, and if you've got different plots, you can name it something more unique. Um, we're going to stick with the defaults, so it's four foot wide by eight foot long. All right, click Continue. All right, and then when you first open the app, it will show you these nice tips for how to get started. So let's just go ahead and tap that. And it'll tell you to long press to drag and drop plants in your garden. So um, if you're on a Mac, um, you can just click and hold. Uh, if you're on a phone, just tap down and drag it in your garden. So I'll show you how that works. Let's say we want to plant some onions. So we're going to hold down and I'm going to drag it into my garden. And um, let's say I have a whole row of onions. This might get a little tedious. So there's this thing up here. I tapped right up there. I'm going to tap it a few times. That's called quick plant mode. And that lets you, you drag and drop just like you previously did. And then every subsequent time you can just tap get a whole row. It's a really good way if you have a whole bed full of onions or a lot of the same plant to fill it up real quick without having to drag and drop over and over again. Um, so once you do that, let's add a few more plants. Um, so let's put so much. Um, let's put some lettuce in there. And again, we've got quick plant mode. So let's do a whole row of lettuce. Um, and then maybe some tomatoes. So we'll put a um, tomato plant here. Now you notice that tomatoes are bigger. They take up more space. Um, you'll see in the lettuce and onion squares, it says four times. That means that you could plant four, four lettuce plants or four onion plants in one square. Whereas most people plant one tomato about two foot apart, so it takes up two foot by two foot squares. Each one of these squares is one square foot. So, um, but you can always customize that, and we'll get into that in another video, but that is possible. So I'm just going to keep filling out my garden. Um, let's put some peppers. Oh, and you'll see that there's these green circles and red circles in between um, some of these plants, and those are compatibility indicators. Green indicates that the two plants are compatible um, and they actually benefit each other. Whereas red means that they uh, might be combative and might hurt each other. So we can actually look at why that is. If you tap on a plant and tap info, you can scroll down. Okay, so it's got companion plants. And then underneath that, it's got combative plants. Let's see why it is combative with peppers. Okay, actually, I on peppers, let's see why it's compatible with tomatoes. Okay, so it says tomatoes. Um, it attracts pests, and it depletes nutrients. So if we tap on this, it'll tell you a little bit more. So both peppers and tomatoes attract the shared pests. So if you get one bug eating your tomatoes, it might just move on to your peppers. Likewise, they both compete for nutrients. Peppers and tomatoes are um, both heavy feeders. Uh, so... You might not want to plant them together, um, but in my case, let's just say it's okay. Maybe you're going to add extra fertilizer, extra compost to that bed. You know it's fine. You can ignore the indicators if you know, you know, it, it'll be okay. If, especially if it's spaced far enough apart, it should be fine. So um, now let's go in a little bit more in depth. If you have a particular type of pepper that you want to plant, these are just regular peppers. Um, and, but we have a lot of varieties in the app. So you'll see here, there's the varieties tab. There's serrano peppers, habanero peppers, jalapeno. 
there's a lot of peppers. So you can actually tap view all varieties and you'll see all these different peppers. Let's say I am planting, you know, maybe I'm planting some habanero. I'm going to tap this circle here and that's now the selected variety. So when I go back, it's changed that pepper plant to a habanero. And the easiest way to actually add, let's say you've got four different um, types of peppers. Uh, we'll go into the varieties and we'll say, okay, I'll favorite the banana peppers. I'll, um, we'll plant some bells. Um, the other ones, we got the habanero, got the jalapeno. All right, let's just stop at that. So now when we go to plant, you can actually tap this little drop down here and it will show all of your favorites and I think the three most recent peppers that you've planted, even if they're not in your favorites. So let's plant some jalapenos. So when you tap that, the icon will sometimes change if it's a significant enough difference. You know, um, if it's just like two varieties of peppers that both have the same icon, it's not going to change, of course. Um, some things, you know, there's a lot of varieties, but they all look the same. Um, celery might be a good example. There's a few varieties. They all pretty much are green. There's, I think there's one purple one. Anyway, I'm getting, getting distracted here. So let's add that jalapeno. Um, and then you can just go back in, tap the plus button. Um, let's drag the bell. Oop, there we go. And then let's select the banana for the last one. All right. So now we've got some varieties in there. And I'm going to disable that quick plant mode up at top. So now you've got a garden planned. Um, you could fill in more spaces. You can, you know, just for this sample, we're just going to um, leave it as is. All right. And that wraps up our video about getting started in Planter, creating your very first garden. In the future, we're going to have more videos going more in depth about all the advanced features within Planter, um, notes, events, customizing your backgrounds, uh, the seed box, creating custom plants, creating custom varieties, uh, the calendar feature. There is so much more to Planter, so please stay tuned, watch our other videos, and if you need any other help, we do have a help site. It's info.planter.garden. All right. Thank you very much. Happy gardening.